Hey guys, I wanted to do a little follow up on that LS oil separator I created for the PCV valve, or the hose rather, that sends the vacuum source to the PCV valve. Um, yes, you could easily buy one of the separators off eBay for around $15 to $20. But I was searching through my hoard of junk that I had in my shop and uh, happened to have enough fittings and uh, an actual fuel filter. I've had this fuel filter since I very first built my 71 Ventura back in the early like 2000, like 2000, 99, 2000, somewhere in there. Um, but basically what I found was that that Fram canister style fuel filter would work perfectly and will work perfectly to uh, send a vacuum signal from my manifold intake manifold to the PCV valve and let the oil if it's sucked up drop into the reservoir of the filter so basically what I did was search through some boxes on the shelves found that crazy Fram canister filter it has no filter in it. Let me just make sure everybody's clear on that. I did not put the actual filter element inside of there. Basically what it does is it allows a baffled uh, entry and exit. So basically the vacuum will come in, will, it, the whole canister will become vacuum, filled with vacuum and it'll pull on the PCV valve but any contaminant that's sucked up from the PCV valve will drop to the bottom of that canister before the vacuum signal is returned, or, or I'm sorry, goes to the intake. So basically all I have to do to drain it, and I don't plan on draining it, but maybe once every oil change, is you loosen that 9 16 bolt in the very center, and that chrome cup, which has an O-ring seal, drops off the bottom of that uh, filter assembly and then it's you can just measure with a measuring cup or whatever you want to to see how much oil the engine would have sucked into the intake um, right now I have it mounted to the brake proportioning valve bracket I did test fit an exhaust manifold and I had plenty of clearance between the exhaust manifold and the canister but I wanted to just let everybody know that may not be the final resting place for that uh, oil separator for the PCV valve. Once I get the uh, steering shaft and the exhaust manifolds bolted on for the last time, get the computer installed, all that good stuff, I'll make a final decision on whether I want that to live there or not. But I wanted you guys to see... I am freehanding, so I apologize if it gets, any, gets too bad. Basically, I have a hose that connects right here at that vacuum source on the top of the truck intake. It comes down, feeds into the back side of that filter, because this was the least restrictive way I could set it up and not have too much bend on my hoses. But it comes out of this side of the fuel filter 90s back to a 90 degree PCV valve stuck into the valve cover. I don't know if you guys can see that. There we go. So I've got a 90 degree PCV valve right there. Comes out, goes to the separator, and then I've got the uh, line that goes up to get the vacuum. So anyway, I just wanted you guys to see that little setup I had created. Um, not everyone's going to have a hoard of junk like I do, so I'm not saying, hey, this is how to do it, because if you had to buy all these components to get, or together would be quite expensive compared to just getting one off eBay. So, again, I apologize for my shakiness. I'm trying to freehand this, and I'm not very good at it. So, anyway, that's the PCV separator that I created for my LS engine to stop oil consumption, and I hope it works perfect. Thank you guys for watching.